Today, I'm gonna show you how these batteries here on these pallets are tested. For the last couple of months, you guys have seen the videos that I'm uploading and they're all surround behind these batteries that are behind me here. I'm doing this, of course, because I'm excited about these batteries becoming available to the masses, to people like you and me that do DIY projects. And for the first time in history, we'll have large amounts of batteries, of high quality batteries at a very, very discounted price, right? Something that is within reach for most of us. And so that's the reason that I'm spending a lot of time and effort in these projects with Eric so that we can make these available. So today I'm gonna to show you how we're going to test these batteries so that what you get, it's actually a good quality working battery and not just a bunch of junk that needs to be recycled, right? Even though these are going to be really, really affordable, I need them to be good batteries so that you guys can use them uh, for, for many, many years in your projects and it's good value to you guys. So let me show you how we're gonna test them. All right, so here you see them as modules. These have already been demand or taken out of taken out of the box where they come in, right? All right, so the first things that we're gonna do to test them is just to check the voltage on these packs. And we'll do that by using a little tool that I made. These are just battery testers that you are available off the shelf, right? And we just made a custom connector that you can then connect every one of these modules to check to check the voltage. All right, so here's a perfect example. This is exactly what this little device is to show you. There is one cell out of all the 16 cells in this module here that it's low. It's 968 millivolts lower than the rest. So now that we know that, then we know that this module might have a problem or it might just be that a cell for some reason is lower. But we're gonna put a mark on this module. Move on to the next module. All right, and here's the second module. Most modules are like this. They're all perfectly matching. Uh, this one has 11 millivolt difference. That one has four millivolt difference. That is within spec. And so there's absolutely no problem with this. Now we're gonna take this module and move it uh, down to second stage testing. Right, the purpose of this uh, second stage testing is to check capacity uh, and then you can check uh, internal resistance. So essentially what you're doing is checking the health of these batteries, whatever capacities left in these batteries at this point, right? The way you do that, let me show you. First thing you gotta do is you gotta take this cover off. Exposes the modules connections, which we need to test it. Next, we will need to use the dual power lab aid. Uh, stations because these are 16 cells and these will do eight cells per unit. Uh, these stations have three cables. They have two of the balance leads, one with the big connector and one with the smaller connector. And then they have the high power connections. First you connect the balance leads. In the front here, it's the big connector. Then on the back, you connect the back connector. The alligator clip goes in the middle one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one right here. Make sure it's getting, making good contact. And then this side is positive. This side is negative. You will have to use nuts. Just connect the positive. Connect the negative. You will have to tighten these, but don't over tighten them. Once everything is connected, making good contact. Then we power the units on. All right, here's how we set these units. First, we have to charge this battery. So you press this button twice. That was one, twice, two, three. Power packs, no. Charge rate is set at 20 amps. This charge at 40 amps. Charge only. Checking pack. Then you confirm, and then you press the press this button twice. 
and it will bring you to this window which then will show you the, the pack voltage and what the charger is doing right now it's not doing anything it's analyzing the battery and then after about a minute then it'll start transferring power either into the battery or out of the battery all right so after about a minute it started putting about 20 amps into the battery this guy on this side now is also putting 18 0.9 amps into the battery so here's what we're doing with these uh, batteries we're essentially cycling them once at least once so that we can get a reading on how much energy uh, you're able to store in them and you have to do that by running by discharging them all the way to the bottom and charging them all the way to the top and then discharging them all the way to the bottom and then you measure that amount of energy that came out and that is what these batteries are going to be able to hold uh, if they've been sitting dormant for a long time usually the first three or four cycles then they're going to gain capacity but really we're just going to leave that capacity there we're going to rate this at whatever we get on the first cycle and whatever else it goes up from there that's just a little cushion for extra for you guys there and the reason we're going to do that is because that's a ton of energy that we have to transfer already right each one of these modules here for example it's two and a half kilowatt hours and so you have to charge put that energy in here and then discharge that energy so that's like five kilowatt hours per module of energy that we have to move and so that is a lot of energy and that is the reason we're using batteries to power these chargers because that energy that you're burning off here to be able to record uh, and test how much energy is in here well we don't want to waste it that's five kilowatt hours per module if we test 100 modules a day that would be very very wasteful and so that's why we're putting it back here into these batteries which then which then we use that same energy to charge the next module that we test so at a rate of about 20 amps uh, this will take about two hours to, to test and so what you do is you set one up and then you walk away and then you let the charger do its thing but at the end of the hour basically you'll come into something like this this module here was tested earlier today and so we got 38.667 uh, amp hours and then on this side that was eight these eight cells these eight cells over here they're 40 uh, 40 amp hours and 38.6 amp hours these cells here are around 25.99 volts these cells right here are higher voltage than this this might explain why we got 38 amp hours out of these instead of the 40 amp hours that we got out of these so for some reason this charger just took a little bit more energy off of this side of the pack than this side so this module here gave us about 40 amp hours so let's do the math here what is uh, 40 amp hours mean how much energy can that module hold right so it's 40 amp hours times 3.7 that's the voltage of each cell so that equals 148 watt hours per cell then you multiply that by 16 cells because that module there has 16 cells and you get 2.3 so that module right there can store 2.3 kilowatt hours worth of energy the lg specs on this module says that we should get 2.6 kilowatt hours off of this module but because it's been sitting on the shelf for a long time i estimate that if we cycle it another three four times we will get at least we'll get another 200 watt hours off of this module putting it close to around 2.5 kilowatt module which is where about most of these modules are coming in somewhere around 95 percent uh, of the original capacity but but each module that is going to be sold is going to be marked with the exact capacity that was recorded with one of these stations so you will get tested capacity and not just some estimation so it's going to be the same procedure for these samsung modules for these modules or this ones right here the only difference is that the cables that we make to connect to the modules are going to be slightly different i'm going to have the connectors that each module has to be able to connect it